We're You're good. a devil. We're live. It's, it's, it's Mr. It's fucking Train Rex, aka Mr. Fucked Up Day. We're back. A- We're back. AKA We're Episode 587. No, this is this should be episode 32. This is episode 586. Uh, I don't know. I'm not keeping track of this shit. It's election day. Woohoo! It is election day. Did y'all vote? It do be election. People do be. I did not voting. You piece of shit. I know, I'm a piece of shit. Well, you know early. what, though? I had to wake up and come here. Yeah, I voted early, so. And by early, last week. So. Sick. <laughs> I wasn't in the voting mood. Yeah. I gotta turn that off. <laughs> Just can't wait till the guys over at SNL get a, get a word of what's going on. You think they know? You think they know about the election? Probably not. They don't really pay attention <laughs> to that sort of stuff. No. That's not in SNL's cata- catalog. I don't know what you're trying to say. Category, maybe? No catalog. Okay. I said what I, I said. What I meant. Okay. It, but <laughs> it came to my attention that. We might be being too mean to Andre lately, so... Oh, it came to your attention as if in a dream. Shut up, yeah. Yeah, I, did. I totally didn't talk to you about this no, like, no, you last didn't. night. You didn't. You did not talk I, this is, Oh, did I not? I, you I are the biggest piece of shit I've ever... on my own. <laughs> yeah, you did. So, you are unabashedly the biggest piece of shit <laughs> I've ever met. <laughs> so... I, um, I cannot believe you right now. I can I don't know what you're talking about, dude. This... Yeah, yeah. I talk, Yeah, we didn't talk about this last night at all. You're right. We didn't. You fucking asshole. We didn't. Uh, so, I'm going to decide to let Andre. No, to, do not decide. Try to do not run the run the show a little bit here. No, do not fucking do that to me. This is what you've you always wanted. You... No, this is not what I've always wanted. You, you've wanted, you to, always you've wanted to take the reins. Sure. All right, fine. Jeez. Yeah. All right, fine. Here we go. So kick us off um, with something. All right. Do you think you could take Michael Phelps in a fight? Honest to God, Olympic swimmer. Think you can, you can kick his ass? This is not where I thought we were going to start. That was the starting point. Michael Phelps in a fight? Michael Phelps in a fight. I don't know. Probably not. Maybe. He's fucking tall as shit. Isn't he like six seven or something? Wait, he's tall. He's a giant man. I thought I think he was, he was like six. six three, six four. I think he's really big. Six feet. I didn't think there was any uh anything past the five inch mark over there. Hey, look, Gar, I made the eyebrows work. And he has like Beautiful. no body hair. Well, yeah, he's a swimmer. What do you expect? I don't know. The man that... literally has the body, like not the physique. This guy doesn't count for something. He's got no body. He's got the skin of a seal. Slippery, smooth, hairless. Do seals have hair? They have whiskers. Don't they? I don't think they have I don't think they have hair like body hair. Do seals have whiskers? Yeah, they have little whiskers. Yeah, they have whiskers. I'm thinking why don't I jump like straight to like fucking walruses? I'm like, no, no, get the fucking thing out of his mouth. Walruses. Trying to tell my brain how to imagine after waking up, not walruses. Twenty minutes ago. Yeah, it, it'd kill you to be on time for once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'd also bit. kill me if I could get a perfect sleep schedule. Yeah, fucking yeah. Welcome to the club, dude. Mm-mm. So, King. Yeah. Any uh, any news in the world of realm of wrestling? Any tournaments? Big fights, events? No, we're not talking about this. It's right. funny that you should ask. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I actually was planning on going to a meet in Iowa in Sports December. Sports segment. Da-na-na, da-na-na. <laughs> now we're not talking about the stuff Trevor wants to talk about, and that's not fair. We're not a sports show. It doesn't matter. We can still talk about uh. stuff. Yeah, we did that one time. 
Boom. And that was not this show. So that was a special thing. Mm. We're all a little special, aren't we? No. So Trevor's gonna go. Uh, so I mean, Carter's gonna go and body slam some kids and old men. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Well, that's hopefully, hopefully I get paired up with dudes who are like they're in they're like they're like in combat sports, but they're in like the self defense ones. You know what I mean? Like not the very competitive edge ones. But then also, hopefully, I get to I get to get really competitive people and fuck them up. That I think honestly, I just saw that the entrance fee is ninety five dollars for two divisions, so that's cool. And that all depends on how far the Civil War has raged by then. That's true. The Civil War, which kicks off Wednesday, everybody. Bring a pitchfork. Tonight at midnight, Civil War. You think midnight? I don't even think the election will be in by then. As soon as it's I don't think it would matter. it's going down. I don't, I don't think anybody's going to be happy about anything. I think that if Trump wins, everybody's going to be jerking their, their cocks as hard as they possibly can. And then if Biden wins, everybody's going to be like, oh, well. It's rigged. Oh, well. You think it's rigged? I you know, know I, I get fucked is, for, don't I? But you I, think Trump I th- won the last one? If uh, if Biden wins, they're gonna be like it's rigged. And it's just, oh yeah, yeah. Start... Ignore the fact that he won the last one, yeah, and it has to do with the electoral college, which voted him in last time. But no, you're super right. And they're just gonna start shooting people. <laughs> chopping. They off are heads too. I've street. said this to Trevor a thousand times, but now there's a roving gang of Trump supporters in vehicles driving across the country, harassing people at voting polls and shit. And I think that's really funny because that's what they said that Antifa was going to do for a long time. And then Antifa didn't do it, and now they're doing it. So, super cool. It's just funny how that works out, right? Yeah. It's almost like they were projecting. And they've projected before, and they will continue to project. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to be nuts. Uh, I guess, speaking of Carter going with his sports thing uh, i'm thinking about it i mean to be like ever since childhood i never got into it but we always played around with it because Gay my sense. grandfather loves fucking boxing fucking loves it nice but he can't he can't do it because of his back and you know years of him doing mechanical work but he always liked he always studied the craft you know everything about that but he never could actually you know put on the gloves get in the ring get his shit rocked nice now, I'm not going to take a boxing like that, but I think for a week, I'm, I think I'm going to take it out. I'm going to think, I'm going to see if I can get my ass beat or if I can beat the ass of my best friend, Christian. Okay. That will look ridiculous. About a month. Two I'm going to say a month in space of training. Throwing strikes at each other. Yeah. One Sunday, we'll go to, uh, and there's a place up here called Nine Rounds. It's near like a fucking Walgreens. I'll oh, yeah, you told us about this. You're just going to walk into a boxing gym and ask them if you could fight each other. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm pretty certain they're going to say no. And prepare for dudes to just watch you because sometimes it's like the room and then the elevated ring. And then when you get in and you put the gloves on, somebody might officiate it. Somebody might not. Not like officiate it, but somebody might be there to ref for you no so no of course that's not. why we give it we wouldn't just like go in there one day i think i would go in there and get some i don't know actual fucking training so you train for a little bit before you do it yeah of course we're gonna train we're not just gonna go there and start like swinging mindlessly like that's what i thought you were saying boxing the art of boxing we will learn Very nice good good go for it that's tight as fuck i'm gonna ha- i'm gonna get my fucking i'm gonna swallow all of my fucking teeth let me tell you that maybe but you get better at it I'm going to know what my spinal fluid tastes like. Thanks to the, the help of my best friend's fist. Now we, yeah. I, I'm going to toss this over to Trevor. Trevor. Oh, yeah. Is it my turn to talk now? There's a yes. ball on the... Yeah, oh no. We're, we, yeah, sorry. <laughs> we didn't let boys. Trevor talk enough on his show. <laughs> Dead boy. Oh. <laughs> A little baby pussy today. (laughs) No. Uh, no. Little baby pussy. Don't. Just I didn't sleep a lot. Okay. Neither did I. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't either. Yeah. We we all didn't sleep. Get it. Hot, sexy, and hotter. 
Six yeah, I saw Trevor like log on to like at three in the morning. It was two. Oh, that's right. I forgot my PC's like fucking an hour ahead. Yeah. And it was on Xbox, not fucking computer. I know it was on the computer. I know it was on the Xbox. I'm watching the Chappelle show. It's on Netflix. Dave Chappelle's got a new one? No. It's not new. It's the Chappelle show. Oh, the Chappelle show. Okay. Yeah. It's on Netflix now. All three seasons. Mm hmm. Tight. Shit's awesome. Tight like his baby pussy. You know what else has three seasons? The show Spartacus, and that has wieners in it. So if you guys want to go see penises, you can go watch Spartacus. Where can, can they watch Spartacus? On Amazon Prime Video? I don't know where it's at. Is you know what HBO else has three seasons? Show? And it's better than all those shows? I think it's on a Amazon Video. I don't think it's on HBO. It might be. On Netflix. Hold on. You're trying to tell me that Castlevania is better than the Chappelle show? Yes. No. Yes, I. Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. No, no, no. I'm no. willing to bet. I've seen, I've seen one of them, and I'm saying no, 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 no. <laughs> what do you mean, seen one of them? Well, the first season? I've seen Castlevania. All three seasons? No. I've seen two seasons of Castlevania. <laughs> yes, yeah, my dick. It is not better than the Chappelle show. I, I would probably disagree. Now, I haven't watched the Dave Chappelle show, but I've seen enough clips to feel like I have watched it. You know what I mean? Why? Because fuck him. That's why. The Chappelle yeah, Dave show Chappelle totally isn't one of the best artists of our time or anything. Is like one of the greatest shows ever. It's better than Spartacus and the Wieners. I don't know. They got, they got big fake giant wiener cocks. Like fucking three force yeah. chub going on. I remember the first time I ever saw anything from Spartacus. I was at a rich friend's house. He's like a billionaire. At least, was like, he? That's what I don't know. He's just rich. I don't know how much money he has. But when I was fucking seventeen, going inside like an eight story house felt like a billionaire's place. And he had like a fucking like a four K TV. Like this is like when they came out. And we're watching Spartacus, and I, I couldn't believe what I was, like, seeing. It was like they were right in front of me. Like, it felt like, it, it felt too, like, real to look at. <clears throat> seeing through this screen, it was like, these people. Like, I could almost look, reach out and tuck. They look tuck better that, than, like, real life graphics. Bloated cock. <laughs> it was, it like, was amazing. Pet it. Then I went back to my poor house and I watched my poor TV. And I was like, this <laughs> sucks. No, you have a poor house with a decent TV. It's different. Yeah. <laughs> it was a, it was just so money had to be funneled into some things. Yeah. Others not so much. It's all about the entertainment. You have a cute, you have a cute dog. You have a big TV. And that's all you need. Yeah. I could be homeless as long as I got my dog and my TV. It's all good. Oh, the TV is all you need. I could sell parts of the TV for crack. There you go, dog TV and some crack. I would sell you for <laughs> crack. I would sell parts of the TV. <laughs> yeah. I like that part. No, yeah, I'd sell you for heroin. It's like rations. Like yeah, I sold a color bar, so everything's yeah. in black and white now. But it's still good. <laughs> Want some crack? You can't have any. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> sell the fucking buttons on it because <laughs> I got the remote so I don't need the buttons on the TV can I borrow and mysteriously lose a nice jacket of yours <laughs> for not crack <laughs> dude it'd be cool to be like I don't know if it'd be cool but I think it'd be kind of like tight to have like a real bad drug addiction <laughs> <laughs> yeah it'd be <laughs> super cool dude <laughs> Cause see, you get away with so much shit yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I guess so. It's like, oh, yeah. He's just well, he does that because he's addicted to crack, and they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> that's just how it is, and that's fucking awesome. <laughs> but there's no other like thing you could do that with, except for like a deadly addiction, and that sucks. Yeah, pretty much. Maybe alcohol, but alcohol is like more sad. Alkichol? 
Because they like alcohol slow is sad. Shit. Isn't that because weird? How we're like a crack addiction is funny, but an alcohol addiction is sad. Yeah, because like the alcohol one like slowly kills you. No one dies from crack. I don't know about that. I think I'm pretty sure crack can fuck you up big time mentally right. and shit. It can tear away at your brain. I would, I would, you know, I had a I guy would... just died because he was drinking alcohol with his buddies, and then he fell asleep on the floor and he didn't wake up. Yeah, I'll admit, I don't have all the research. Okay. But as far as I know, no one's died from straight up crack. <laughs> that guy used to, that guy yeah, was, used to be got yeah. trained with me. But you could just kill yourself from drinking too much, and that's you get like cirrhosis and you die in thirty years, and it's really painful. Everybody watches you wither away. Cirrhosis, huh? Yeah. Do you not know what that is? No. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure that's like where your liver just disintegrates slowly. My liver? Yeah, liver. And that's that's sad. Alcoholism is sad. It's also like the only like fucking ism or whatever that the thing that you're trying to stop is the thing that you need. Yeah, is it, yeah, cuz you need to keep going on the alcohol. Yeah. Because nobody else is going to take the pain away. <laughs> take my is pain it... away. The problem isn't the alcohol. It's the need for the alcohol. Yeah, I see. And that's crazy. Well, you see, you make a choice to become addicted to alcohol. Yeah. You were one of those fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> those dudes are tight. I bet those dudes get fucking laid a lot. The, I mean, if you go on Facebook, you can physically and very, you can visually tell they don't. Yeah. You can look at their profile and have, have them break up and then talk about how women are whores. <laughs> Probably because it's not polite. Nice to be around, dude, who is so incredibly not polite all the fucking yeah. time. Addiction is a choice, even though we've scientifically and medically been like, yeah. oh, addiction is a real thing in the brain. So why are you um, a choice. <laughs> You sound like an empathetical person. You sound like you're fun to be around. Yeah. <laughs> we got to stop all this violence on the streets. Like, uh, going out into the streets is a choice. <laughs> you choose she to go yeah, bro, she belongs to the street. What, what, you got killed while you were out there? That's your fault. Yeah, you sure no one out there. Just don't go outside. Yeah. As I say this, I realize I'm kind of behind this idea. Yeah. Nobody should have to interact with each other ever. I'm down. If you just don't do anything, nothing will happen to you. Yeah, because, like, who cares? That's... Not me. That's not the way to live. Yeah, I don't want to do anything, so... I don't know. Just stay in my house for the next 40 to 50 years. Well, you know. Yeah, I never know. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking those like incel black pill dudes oh uh, yeah they're the, they're the fucking best <laughs> oh, the, <laughs> I just love reading their anonymous reddit posts like what the fuck they really are the best they're like, there's no hope for me I'm 5'8 and women only like dudes who are 6 foot 10 it's like I love, yeah, right. I don't know who the fuck you're thinking. How many six foot ten dudes do you even know? Think about the tallest person that you know in your real life, and they're not six ten. No, 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 nobody is. It's you, an impossible height. I think the tallest person I know is like six four. <laughs> and that's still like gigantic, but like. <clears throat> They're not fucking Shaquille O'Neal or Jeremy Lin or Yao Ming. Shaq O'Neal? Look how two of those dudes were Asian and one was black. <laughs> the <three laughs> tallest people I could think of is two Asians and a black guy. <laughs> Andre, you got any more? You're supposed to be leading this. This, I is, this is your I show started, today. I, I passed the torch. I got like two ones that only applied to me in game. Yeah. Well, you're an incel, yeah. so... What you, the you fuck hate, does you that hate mean? Women. No, I'm not a fucking incel. Well, incel we know that you hate women. women. You Every time you say this, if you realize that's like the one thing I don't want to be. 
and I do my absolute hardest not to be, and I'm he's succeeding. A, he's okay with being Every racist. time you say that, he's I cool feel bad. Being racist, he's like, no, you it's can't not, make it's me not hate cool women. Not cool being no. racist. No one. It's not cool being racist. Racism is a little cool. It is just a little bit. <laughs> Racism is just a little bit cool. <laughs> Says the bald white guy who looks like he could. I'm yeah. not. I would not be surprised if there's a swastika carved in the back of his skull. And isn't that he cool? Looks like the fucking understudy for Edward Norton in American History X. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm happy about that. You know why? Because he looked cool. Isn't that movie like shitty? Yeah, Hitler looks. Like, like, I know it's like, everyone talks yeah, about it with the I'm curb stopping, but then they don't Hitler talk about the fact cool. that a man was raped in it. Yeah. He, he goes to prison for like a day and his life has changed. Isn't that like the, the thing of the movie? Well, you know. He's he got prison. fucked in the ass, I think. He's I never in seen prison it. for three hours. And he's I like, think he got <laughs> fucked in the ass and then he was just really racist after that. <laughs> Which. No, is it? I thought, he, I thought he was apparently. racist and then he went to prison and then he came out a better man. Okay. Apparently not. Apparently not. not. Okay. Yeah, because I thought that he was like a really bad, like racist neo Nazi dude, and then he goes to prison for three hours and he gets raped and he comes out and he's like, "No, what? racism isn't cool at all." And then he's like a hero. You know what? Racism is actually pretty not cool. <laughs> I remember, um, we went to high school with this dude who got very, very like realistic racist. racist. Um. Yeah, he's super racist. He went to like the Charlottesville white supremacist fucking oh, rally. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This dude's tiny. yeah. He got just like super racist, and then he got exposed online from like a college that he was going to for saying horrible racist shit, and how like his dad was like, "Son, you should be a little less racist." And he, he was like, "Didn't realize my dad." Was Everyone's so a little bit fucking. racist. I think he oh, might he... just be like, fucking saying a little bit. Um, and his dad got fired from his job because he fucking insulted Patton Oswalt on Twitter. <laughs> This is, yeah, this is multiple things going on. But we're going to stick with the kid for now. We're going to stick with the kid. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to get, we're going to stick with the kid. Um, and then I tried to talk to somebody about like the people who were like in his grade and everything that I'm friends with in a group chat. And I was like, did you guys know that this kid went completely off the rails and went totally racist? And one of those kids called me. And he was trying. He was trying to be like he had a really rough life. He had a hard time with his dad and everything. And like you see it from his perspective. And blah. I'm like, he's like a real white supremacist, though. Yeah. Like your dad being shitty doesn't straight to hate in the blacks. Like you know what I mean? It's a really <laughs> weird line that he's drawing right now. <laughs> it, uh, they like him, so they were defending him, and I get it. But it's like I, I think maybe you should be like, even though he's your friend, he's like, yeah, he went fucking nuts. In his defense, he is really funny. He's super funny. He's one of the, he was super nice to me. I mean, because yeah. like I'm white, but he's a super nice guy to he me. He used to trade uh, Yu Gi Oh cards on the bus <laughs> when we were in elementary school, and I thought that was cool. Little did I know that that kid I gave my dark magician to would become a black hating piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. that's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it be like that sometimes it sometimes just do be like that yeah, it's the people you never expect it'd be your own people we we went to school with a chick who thought she was a horse and yeah then, that's right i do remember this yeah, chick and and she, did. A, she was crazy she, yeah and, and as far time, as we know she didn't she wasn't actually like disabled uh, yeah, she was the just craziest really part. fucking weird. Because you, if you um, have like someone that has like Down syndrome or whatever, and they like think they're a horse, you like this goes hand in hand. So but she sense. was like clearly on the spectrum, like heavily. Oh, she's definitely and, like, autistic. We are too, but like she yeah. was like much further down the line. Yeah, I, I can't um, do two things at the same time. I'm 100 percent autistic. Yeah, and it just I don't know. <laughs> and yeah i got i remember got really mad in junior high because i hated her and like so did everybody else and she started telling people that me and her were dating and i got so fucking pissed at her and i was yelling at her and shit that pissed me i was, it was like this is ridiculous <laughs> damn my god you got me you're mad you're mad little poopy boy mad little poopy boy 
I was super upset. There's also there's this other this this chick was actually disabled. Uh, I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put her on blast. But uh, she was the she was the short one. In our grade, who stayed a couple of years extra. You know what I'm talking about? No. Uh, I don't know how to explain it better than that. <laughs> short one in our grade. You just you know her very well. I know her very well. Well, I mean, not like on a personal level. You just you just know her. She went to school with us for like ever. She wasn't that short. I'm thinking of one that stayed there until she was 21. That might be the one. Okay. Um. <laughs> anyway. She had a sister that was in our grade. No. Fuck. I don't think she had a sister. No, you know, th- yeah, it's not the one. You would know who I'm talking about, but <laughs> short. Just text me real quick. Just text me. Okay. This short bitch. This will literally kill me <laughs> if I cannot figure it out. I'm surprised you haven't got it yet. I, I short she one. Had that was in our huh? She had glasses. Did I send that to the right person? Yes, I did. Okay. Oh. Uh... Oh, 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 she was with the with the with the kids who rode the short bus. Yeah, this, yeah. Yeah, I know who you're talking about now. She was a disabled girl. Yeah. Yep. No, who you're talking about? One time in fifth grade, uh, I was in a class with one of our good friends, uh, Jace, right? Yeah. And he was not necessarily polite to the disabled kids. He wasn't necessarily polite to anyone he didn't yeah, like, which yeah. was super cool. And uh, this one, this this one disabled kid had uh, had a problem with staring at people. She just like <laughs> couldn't help it, right? I think he told me this. And we're standing in line to like go to recess or something. We're in fifth grade, mind you. Yeah. And she's just staring at him, and you, he's starting to fume. You're, like he's shaking in line, and I'm like, he's he's gonna fucking burst. <laughs> And then she's just staring at him, and I'm like, "Dude, calm down." He's like, "I can't, I can't, I can't dude. She just won't stop fucking looking at me." He's like, I, thought, I thought he was gonna kill her. And about like another like thirty seconds by, he just fucking just quit fucking staring at me. <laughs> he says her name, and the teacher's like, "Jace," and he's like, "She fucking staring at me. <laughs> fucking staring at me." Imagine being laughing. Next, like, at I was on so the floor. Fun. I bet I would be too. Oh my! One of the fucking greatest God. things I've ever witnessed. We Do you have any story. stories of the retards? I have hundreds, dude. No, I'm talking to Mateo. <laughs> stories of the retards. Uh, well, no, not really. I had a couple special. I had. I knew only really well, one special ed guy, but he was totally <laughs> fine. Track. He was with him. Yeah. He was a cool dude. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, not, not that. I'm sorry, I'm dry. I don't. Yeah, I don't know a lot of special needs suck. people in my life. I think our school had all of them. Yeah. 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 I mean. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've told you this story before. I don't know if I've ever told Andre. But uh, we we're playing kickball one day, and there was this really short, disabled black kid named Trenton. <laughs> and he was yeah. he was the shit. He'd walk around, and he'd just high-five people for no reason. <laughs> he, he, he'd put out his he'd be like, eh, and then you'd high-five, and he'd be like, hell yeah. That's what he would do. <laughs> And it was the tightest shit ever. He was so fucking cool. Uh, and we were playing kickball one day, and when uh, these people, when they came up to like, when the disabled people would come up to, I don't know how offensive I'm being when I'm trying to say this. You're being really offensive. I don't know how else do I say it when the defensive, uh, uh, fucking disabled kids. I don't know. It sounds offensive no matter what. I'm not trying to be. I really liked him. <laughs> he was cool. I don't know. There's no better way to say it. And I can't say the fucking R word when I'm talking about one that I actually like know. I can't do it. <laughs> so you thought the word that you were currently saying was less offensive than retard? I've... No, I think it's more offensive, but I, I can't bring myself to call say the R word because I know. Call 
call him a fucking freakazoid. I'm not gonna call him that. He had a big ass head though. <laughs> he, he had like a Roblox head. <laughs> Don't the Roblox people have little heads to their big square bodies though? Yeah, big square bodies. They look well, like that I mean, Kanye uh fucking. What, what, he had a fucking Minecraft Steve head. Minecraft head. head. That's what you're thinking. He had of. Minecraft Steve head. And uh, when he came up to bat, they would always pitch the ball extra slow to be nice to him. Cause you're not going to strike out one of them because that's right. You wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. So and they I think this person rolled it extra slow, like more than you usually would. And yeah, he couldn't calculate to kick it. And he stepped on the ball instead of kicking it and just ate shit on the gym floor. <laughs> And I could not stop laughing. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I was just on the bleachers, just crying in tears <laughs> from laughing so hard. And my friend Tommy is sitting next to me, and he's like, you got to stop, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I was, like, a lot of them were really cool, though. A lot of, like, disabled kids and special needs. Yeah. There was a big chunk of them that were pretty cool. Like, Trenton, he was the bomb. He's actually the only one I can think of that was cool now that I'm thinking about it. A lot of them also sucked. Like, they were bitches. They were, like, fucking mean. They were assholes. You know what I'm saying? Are you afraid yeah, to call no, them an saying. asshole? I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there was this one. Are you one afraid kid. to say the special needs kids were dicks? They were fucking super mean to each other all the time. Um, there was one who was like still messed up, but he was like he was like less um, retarded than the others. But he was like super mean to them. Yeah. He was a freak show too. Yeah, um, he would call I, that he was like mean, and he was also dangerous. And the teachers never stopped him because yeah. he would become like really obsessive over girls and then he stalk them and annoy them for the rest of the fucking time. He'd also call the other special needs kids retarded in that shit. Yeah, which is funny because is. he was <laughs> he was painfully retarded. I don't, there's nothing funnier than a special needs kid calling somebody else retarded. <laughs> really? It's a good that time. That is the funniest shit ever. And it's always I mean, awesome. It's, a, it's only funny for me when I call them a cunt. What? No, it's, I only find it funny when I call people cunts. What are you talking about? I thought you said it was funny to call people retarded. No. I, I say it's funny when a fucking special needs retard person calls, calls someone retarded. retarded. It's like, okay, an, it's nah. like an eclipse. You know? <laughs> oh, and like when a woman says, suck my dick. No, not at all. I've only been able to witness it like three times. And those are the moments I Well, share. that makes you luckier than most. Now, doesn't it? I don't think so. I think a lot of people see it. There was one, uh, one kid that we went to school with that was also disabled. And he thought he worked at Ace Hardware. And that was his whole character. <laughs> was that he thought he had a job at Ace Hardware? And <laughs> he would he'd wear an Ace Hardware shirt and he'd walk around and talk about how he worked there, and then he didn't. <laughs> That's. <laughs> I think sad. he got a job there after high school though. So I mean, they he paid he paid his dues for four years by acting like he worked there. <laughs> he was acting a fool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you like that one? It is this 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 will probably sound like pretty mean. But like, you ever like when you walk into your class like the first day of the year or like semester or whatever and you see that there is like special needs kids in you there, you're like, Am I in the wrong fucking room? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, we were just bad at school. <laughs> yeah, but they also took like like certain like other classes that they would be able to go with everybody else, and like you you'd walk in and you'd be like, "Fuck, um, am I? <laughs> is this correct? <laughs> like, some, did somebody fuck up?" And they always had like the helpers and stuff like that. It'd be like, right. "This shit is bullshit." I remember one class where I came in and I had to sit next to one of the more annoying. Um, Tardy kids and that was the whole semester and the, like i talked to him sometimes and he was like he was like yeah. okay but other times he um 
would annoy the shit out of yeah. me, and I hated him for it. And I sat across the room, and it was... The yeah, and you would die me. every fucking day, because you'd watch me just get pissed and simmer. Because he, he, he had this problem, and it's like, I'm not as bad, because he had to sit there, and he had to rock back and forth, like, super hard. And that's just, he did that the whole time. And that doesn't bug me as much as the fact that he was, like, left-handed, which is, like, cool for a retard, because I can't even do that. But he was, like, writing on the paper. But every time he would shift to go back to the left side of the paper to draw right, to write he would just right, swing. he would throw his elbow and he would bump me every fucking time. So I'd be sitting there with my right arm and he'd be like, Phew. and he'd hit me again and hit my arm. I'm like, boom, you got to know you're doing this. I can have conversations with you. And Trevor's across the room just fucking dying because he can see me getting more and more pissed. <laughs> Because everything I have to do is at half speed now. Because every time he goes past the line, it's like, <laughs> fucking knocks my arm out of place. <laughs> it's like, what do, I, what, do, what do I do? I ask him to stop. He doesn't. I also want to point then out I guess... that I have yet to call any of these people that we've talked about retards. In, but Carter has called every single one of them a retard. That's, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's because Carter's a big ass man and nobody fucks the big bear. I'm not that big. And that's not even the point. This isn't a physicality thing. This isn't no. some like yeah. test of strength. Who the fuck's going to stop you, you big fucking. I, I think this is, this is where, this is where the, the social justice shit can be put on hold just a bit. I don't think about it for a lot of shit, but it's like. It's like you can't call them retards. It's like, yeah, but mental retardation is it's a real term for yeah, that. It's a real term. Not term. staying in a place of hate. Yeah. And then it's like call them autistic. It's like, yeah, but they're not all autistic. That's not yeah. what's wrong with all of them. No. It's it's different. They have a mental they retardation. They have actual mental retardation. Yeah, yeah. People with Down syndromes is people that are autistic. You can't, you can't blanket statement them. That's not right. Some of them were dropped as a baby and they're messed up now, and that's not their fault. Mm -hmm. And they were good people, but they're mentally retarded. Yeah, it's not. It's not from a place of hate. I've never liked that argument though, because it it doesn't seem good enough. What do you mean? Like I don't know. I I'm, I'm always like saying like special needs, and that shit sounds way more like offensive to me. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because it sounds like you like like you're putting them on like a pedestal. Kind it of it sounds like you try not to offend them because yeah. you think they're stupid and weak. And it's like <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like it seems really condescending. I just like it is. It is so like, but it's like. Also, I would never call them like if I was if like I was dealing with a person like that, and like just like a bagger at the grocery store, I would be like, "Fucking come on, you retard!" I would never. Well, I wouldn't do, do that, that either. Yeah, but like you, you wouldn't normally categorize like anybody in that way. Yeah, I wouldn't. Sure. I wouldn't like Trevor. Your family lineage is from Britain. I wouldn't be like, "Come on, you fucking Brit." <laughs> like it wouldn't. It, it's yeah. like because it's like now you're clearly being derogatory. Yeah. But if like you're introducing somebody and you're like, "Yeah, he's he's mentally retarded." Mm -hmm. Like I'm talking, like not introducing yeah. them, but you're talking about them. Like I know this person; he's mentally retarded. It's like it's not fucking. Yeah. It's not like a negative. It's just poised as a negative. And then I never get like where that goes from there because it's like, well, you can't say. Eventually, it might be like, well, you can't say special needs because oh, yeah, that's for too sure. Much that's going to be the next one. Though. You and can't it's like, say special it's like, needs. calm the fuck you can't on. Say at disabled. some point, just stop caring that much about this ridiculous shit. Like the, that, that's retard is the one that I never got because it was like yeah. there wasn't like. It wasn't like this big, like, people used it against them forever. Yeah. It's like the people who did are fucking stupid. They're retards themselves. <laughs> <laughs> like people, like, on, like, social media, like, TikTok and stuff, they'll take, like, videos of their fucking disabled brother or some shit. Oh, yeah. God, syndrome, and they'll, like, they'll, like, write yeah. a script. And they'll be like, here, tell people not to say retarded. Yeah. And then he's, and he's like, don't say retarded. And, and like, then, yeah, he is... doesn't know because he doesn't fucking care. Yeah, it's like you get yeah, a script and you're saying that. It's like, 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 no, he really doesn't. Nobody does. It's like he wants to eat his fucking popcorn and jar of peanut butter and watch fucking <laughs> Frozen or some shit. Like, right. just let him go bang it out. There's nothing wrong with that. But stop, stop using him as a mouthpiece for something that you believe in if he doesn't. That's wrong. Now you're using him. Yeah. I like when uh, fucking these people like post like pictures of their kids with trump shirts and shit and like my kid loves trump and he's like he's five he has no idea yeah he's five he any got... of this shit is yeah. meaning 
I see these ones all the time where it's like they make the Pepsi on Easter at a fucking store. They like glue a bunch of empty Pepsi boxes together to make a cross in like a Walmart. This lady like takes a picture of her kid on her knees praying, and this kid's like fucking like you said, five six years old. She's like, my daughter dropped to her knees and started praying to God in the middle of the store. It's like, <laughs> no, you didn't. You made her take that picture because you're a fucking freak. Because <laughs> you're a <laughs> fucking psycho. freak. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> you that shit annoys me because you're a fucking freak. If it's very exploitive of children, that is a that is. That isn't the only, the only time of. you can exploit kids is when you're selling fucking uh, cookies. Yeah, then it's then it's cool. To That's exploit. the only time. If you have a kid and you gotta sell some shit, exploit the fuck out of that motherfucker. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Seven days a week. Yeah, that's. <laughs> go out here and sell this fucking these fucking cookies. Well, I was in like baseball in school. We had to do like fundraisers where we'd sell fucking candy bars. Yeah, and I just give that whole box to my dad and be like, yeah, "Go, go to your work and just use me." And they'd just be sitting there in my baseball uniform. I'm like, "You want to help pay for my team?" And just people just buying candy bars left and right. Use kids to sell shit, not prop up God <laughs> in fucking this war against the word retard. <laughs> this is pointless, endless fucking feud. There's the uh, two I can believe it. dumbest wars in the world history: it's the war on drugs, war on retard, and the Cold War. No, Cold War was dope. No, Cold War was stupid. Nothing happened. No, that's why you're it was fucking the idiot. Cold war. We'll put some nukes in the Congo. Oh wait, no, that's not. That's not what happened. Yeah, yeah. we put nukes in the Congo. Yeah. yeah. No, finish what you were saying. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we hit them in the trees. <laughs> I was thinking of something else. I was thinking of the Congo, bro. <laughs> I was thinking of fucking was Billy Joel. We didn't start the fire, the and there was that one line. Back. What was it? We had something little like bomb gorillas running around. Ombre. Ombre. Yeah, you're like one of those fucking idiots who's like, uh, this movie, nothing happens in it, so it's not good. It's like you can't. But just nothing sit did there happen. And enjoy it was political drama. talk and us placing nukes in the Cold War is like would ready be like to the fire. best fucking and then like drama TV nothing. show ever. Because it's just all like fucking. If nothing. you guys do this, we're gonna do this. So fuck yeah, you. it was just like if you do this, then I do this. Well, then if you do that, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, it's cool as fuck. Are you, how no, how is that cool not awesome? Fuck. It was like two kids threatening with how who has the who has the more than Yeah, except the these kids could then, fucking end the world. Yes, and then they were sticking them in places that they didn't need to be. Yeah, Nobody how is that not needed the nukes ass. in Cuba. Cuba did not need that shit. You're just you're just stupid. And you can't <laughs> understand the Cuba fucking, did not need to be used by Russia just to have the nukes in there pointed at Florida. Of how dramatic Nobody needed that shit. Cuba, and if I was cool Cuban, was. I'd be angry. It. I would be smoking my thick cigar. I'd be looking at this pile of nukes and just being like, oh, the God Yeah, you also Russian forget that Fidel power. Castro was an insane madman. Wait, 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 wait. Mateo, you do not possess the power to smoke a cigar. <laughs> I don't. I would, I would die. A cigar I would overpower Kill me. You. You'd fucking, <laughs> you'd lick the wrapper and pass out. <laughs> it's, it's, like, I would I would pay to watch you just smoke on a cigar and then just fall over. <laughs> just fucking because you you're fucking you're just tiny and all the all the nicotine fucking gives you a rush that crashes immediately. There's this dude at my brother's wedding who was smoking a cigar. I think it was like his first time ever, and they're like real. Yeah, cigars. you guys were smoking cigars. Shut, I saw that picture. God damn it! Let me talk, Damn, bro. And he, he so was high. like, he took like two puffs. He's like, I'm fucking getting high as fuck off this. He's like, get... you need to <laughs> go the fuck you need to away. Fuck down. That he's is. Gonna, he's getting. He's getting nicotine rush. He's like, my fucking head is light. It's like, okay. yeah, oh, I bet. <laughs> it's like you go sit the fuck down. <laughs> Jesus. You can't understand how fucking dope the Cold War was. You you don't have no, the mental capacity. The Cold War was not dope. The Cold War was just a big old blue ball. If the Cold War happened, I wouldn't have to sit here and suffer being alive. God damn it, Russia. Taking the black pill today? 
You're gonna get, get a little nihilist. You should love the Cold War then, if you're a little nihilist faggot. Well, it yeah, it was, it was the perfect combination of like yeah. people not being a, like able to be trusted with power and yeah. shit. It is no shit. JFK constantly fucking just publicizing C, uh, fucking CIA documents and shit. And the talking only about thing it. I think that's funny. that shit is the coolest. That's why I love about, JFK. It's the, the only CIA thing I think that's fucking funny about the Cold War is the fact that between us and Russia. Russia knew that we had the balls to actually drop that. We dropped it twice. Yeah, and then we said we'd never do it again right after that because it was catastrophic. And, yep, uh, and it did way more damage than we us. thought it would do. And immediately how quick we went back on our word ready to drop another one. Yeah, but we didn't, so... Exactly. Stop saying we, With like, us, why it's we called the Cold War. Not yet. <laughs> we because still nothing, it. it was cold. We could still and shit them, man. The cold gun that never fired. I, the, you attempting to break down the word "cold war" is amazing. It was like a gun. It was that's unfired. Cold. It's cold. It's just metal that's cool to the touch, yeah. baby. Because nobody's gonna also, shoot. Also, like you're not even like considering all the like the Bay of Pig shit that happened. Also, that shit. Yeah, was I'm not considering from. the Bay of Pig shit. Because you're an idiot, and you don't understand. No, Bay of Pigs stuff. is something on its own. I think Bay of Pigs was. Obviously terrible because no, nobody should have to witness that. Witness me. All of those planes flying over, and you're just sitting there in your little houses, and then next thing you know, everything's going to hell. Yeah, that shit's tight. Tight like your your little baby pussy. Yeah, uh, yeah. JFK pissed off the CIA so bad that they hired that they- like ten oh, people man. to kill him. <laughs> like, we're gonna make this the most unsolvable murder ever potentially oh, come on. I, used, I used to have this um that kid uh jace you were talking about earlier i used yeah. to have this idea with him that um the government releases the real um zapruder film this probably isn't funny because i came up with it in junior high but as the car goes around the bend and goes down the road there's like 14 shooters all on the sides yeah. trying to kill him. And then there's like a giant robot chasing the car and there's like explosions and mortar <laughs> shots and lasers and shit. Aliens come down and start shooting everyone. And it's like, this is what they were hiding from us for yeah. so long. Didn't they pay like, they paid like $14 million for that footage at the time. I don't know. They like, they put out a bunch of money to get that footage of the assassination. It depends on how many women were involved. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> so I was like, "What does what does that have to do with anything?" It means nothing. And then fucking like the they should have just then Jack hired Ruby Marilyn Monroe and fucking... to give her a gun. Hey, stick him with this really weird rusty blade. She was already dead, dumbass. Shh, they, they killed her, her they earlier than her back in the alley. Then they should have fucking tried got it earlier. They missed that boat. How come you never That's see like a picture of like you know with Marilyn Monroe when she's standing over the like the fucking New York City sewer, fucking. Vent. That was yeah. a sewer. It was a storm drain. Was, was it a storm drain or was it one of those subway things? Because I thought that the reason the wind comes yeah. up is the subway yeah. blast through there. <laughs> Never mind what I was going to say then. Never I don't know mind. how infrastructure works. <laughs> I think it'd be cool if like she was doing that over the sewer thing. And then, you know, like the picture for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies where they're all looking up through the sewer grain. Oh, yeah, I got you. If they're I got at you. Pussy, that'd be they cool. Can, pussy. The age yeah. dripping off of her. <laughs> Ew, what the she fuck? No, girl, shut the fuck up. Oh god, that clean. ruined my. That ruined everything for me. Yeah, dude, she was clean. There's no way she had any diseases. You don't. You don't think so? She couldn't have AIDS, dude. She was straight. Only gay she guys. Had like 400 dude, people. In like the 50s and 60s, only gay guys could get AIDS, and everybody knows this. Everybody knows. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. There was a disease that only gays could get. I love that uh, fucking Easy E from NWA when he got diagnosed with AIDS and he was like, "What? I'm not gay. I can't have AIDS." And then he just died. And he was like, <laughs> yeah. You had AIDS, dog. <laughs> you had AIDS, dog. <laughs> oh no. And now there's a bunch of people that are like, "We actually think he was gay." <laughs> he was a gay rapper who liked getting his butt plugged. As you know, black people who are cool never gay. That's impossible. I can't name one, honestly. 
What's one what? gay black dude? Uh, Lil Nas X. I think he's. I think he's gay. Yeah, I think, I think he's he pretty gay. gay. He's cool as fuck. He gay. dressed up as a uh, Nicki Minaj for Halloween, and uh, black males are pissed. Oh, on no. Twitter, you know why? He's Baby, he's promoting the feminization of gay black men because he dressed up as Nicki Minaj. I, I like how they just like strip away any form of independence he might have as a person. Yeah. It's like now you have to represent everybody and you can't just be yourself. I, someone tweeted him about it and he was just, fuck you, N word. And that was the greatest <laughs> shit ever. It was like, this is awesome. Uh, that is incredible. Was, he, had a, he had another one that was great. Let me find it. But yeah, Lil Nas X, he's dope. And he's gay. We should get him on here. Think he'd do the show? Yeah, no. I'm gonna take my dick to the next dude's butt. <laughs> You're gonna ride till you can't no more? His butthole. I'm gonna fuck him in the ass. Oh, I think him. he deleted it. God damn it. Oh, that's bullshit. It was such a good clapback. Anyway. Mateo. Yes? How do you feel um, as a completely gay man? How do you feel about Lil Nas X dressing up as a woman? Do you think that hurts the gay community? All right, well, sorry okay. that we asked you a question. So, <laughs> no, 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 let me, let me springboard off of this. Let me springboard off of this. Let me, let me, let me ask you a follow-up question. Um, either you answer me in English or I'll deport you with ice. And I'll deport get away with you with brown. Ice? I yeah, see. ice. How does that work? I call them and they come and get you. We'll call ice. Call ice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you're super brown. <laughs> Immigration. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell them all about you. My little Native you American ass. You don't have a green card. You have nothing. And they will come raining fire upon you. Do I think he hurts the gay community? I didn't even know he was gay. Yeah. Lil Nas X, the, the old town oh, and the Panini guy. Yeah. Super gay. And people no. don't like the version of gay that he is apparently because just any moment of being a singular person is out the window because now you have to represent a larger group of people who you don't know and could honestly only give so much of a shit about. I mean, don't ask me. I'm not, I don't represent the gay community. Exactly. That's what I would think. Being a totally gay virgin who's never had sex with a woman ever. <laughs> <laughs> my cheese ass smile <laughs> what's it like being a virgin in 2020 I'm what's it like being a gay virgin, virgin who fucks I don't know, ask fucking code you've <laughs> never had sex with a woman we have a friend named I've code had se- I've had, like had sex direct. with a woman Jesus fucking no, you Christ haven't. yes I fucking Thank had you, you have fucking bring him up again when you put his name in your mouth, you put some fucking respect on it. <laughs> yeah. Straight up. We're not even joking, dude. You pissed us off. <laughs> We're tired of your little gay like virgin ass running around here. Now when he's not here... Putting friend. men's name in my mouth, yes. You've had so more of men's stuff in your mouth. mouth. Like they're cum. Look, I've had sex with a woman before. Stop calling You've me a little fucking sex with a woman. virgin. He never had sex with a woman in a forest. Do you understand how unrealistic that story sounds? In a forest? What the fuck? Did I never said a woman in the forest. Yes, you did. You just told me you had sex in with a woman. In a car. She was Chinese. Was she was a Chinese you... in the forest as you were on the run from ice trying to escape <laughs> into the country. You piece of shit. 
He's here still. He's still bringing ice. Oh, I dirty and, cum and the pussy. Yeah. This is ridiculous. She was seeking ass slump. You fucking made that pussy fucking... belonged to me and my group of people. Yeah. I still think in the terms of a barbarian. <laughs> she was seeking ass slump. Not asylum. She was looking for Andre's little tight ass. Yeah, she was gonna peg him. So That's what could, happened. She could put his her ladyboy dick in it. This is the first time Mateo goes to have sex with a woman, and she's like, "Can I peg you in the ass?" And he's like, "Fuck yeah." Yeah. Yeah. Wait, didn't Trevor say that he would let that shit happen too? Don't know what you're talking about. First off, okay, yeah, he said that. If you're gonna yeah, bring you up this, to... you have to bring you it up in full to... context, and it wasn't yeah, just yeah. I'd let some random chick peg me. There was way more into it than that. Yeah, yeah no, it was a very specific no moment, and you said, right. "If I fuck her, she's gotta fuck you back." <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it was if I could pick like, one person in the entire world that I could fuck, hey. but she doesn't have to fuck me. It's worth it. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's not you're insane, like, dude. That's I, not just I, some I, random I, bitch pegging. Me. I don't know. Nah, you get pegged, bro. You get I, like I, me I picking like I could pick like Miranda Cosgrove or somebody like that, and like they. No, I cannot. I could not, in good conscience, pick Miranda Cosgrove because I grew up with her in School of Rock. So even if she's an adult, she's I, older I like, than no, you, dude. You were in my favorite movie. Be like way into Shut this because up. you're literally a gay person. <laughs> <laughs> she is like ten years older than you. I am not gay. I don't even think she. I don't think she's ten years old. Yeah, than she's me. like twenty-eight. That's not ten years. Well, round up. What are yeah. you fucking twelve? 14? Stop me when I get close. 15. 11. You went, just went down. Well, you didn't stop me. His margin of error went down. That means he's getting closer. Go younger. Yeah. <laughs> 10. 8. 7. This is a great bit. Fetus. <laughs> it is. Yeah, Fuck you. Is <laughs> yeah. It's just too long of a bit. I'm gonna get a fuck boy. I'm hungry. You're like you're so gay that like you know how like a cat spits out hairballs? Your ass spits out cum balls. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the, the that's now. the kind of shit you get from this show. <laughs> uh we're basically the smartest to... comedy writers in the world. We're we're pretty much the best. Yeah. I don't know if you guys out there know how lucky you are to be listening to yeah. something like this for free, but we're like essentially the best. Wow. Are you Name looking up how old Miranda Cosgrove is? What'd you say? I think he's looking up how old Miranda Cosgrove is. Yeah, he's how looking up pictures of Miranda Cosgrove. He, he typed in on Google Images, Miranda Cosgrove with penis. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Miranda Cosgrove trap question mark. Also, Miranda, if you're listening, I don't think you have a penis. I think you're super cute, and you should. Yeah, maybe, she's probably listening. You should maybe hit me up. She's one of the eleven. She's not yeah. listening. <laughs> Out of the fifteen people that watch this show, all yeah, of them but are dude, just what if it your was? fucking friends? What if? Yeah, I guess. I like, guess you got to shoot Three of them are mine. The rest are yours. I lost three thousand dollars trying to get into the championship of Texas Hold'em. Okay, no, I play my cards close to my chest. No, you didn't. <laughs> Yeah. You lost three thousand dollars because you blew them on the ponies. I don't nope, never bet horse racing. Don't like horses. Nope. Don't like horse racing. The There's something Carter, too you... weird about Carter, a jockey you, you and his like horse that I don't shit. like. Carter. What what what'd you say, Mateo? Carter looks like he's trying to take a take a shit. Bro. Yeah, I yeah. squint when I look at shit, sorry. He's yeah. just like I have the eyes of an old man oh, and body have... of and soon Did you also have to scrunch your mouth? Man. Did you look up how old she was, Andre? Yeah, did no, you? I didn't look up how old she what was. What were you looking okay, up I... that you were like, holy shit? Not that. Bro. Awesome. Not that. I'm glad that you look up stuff that contribute contributes to the show. It's to my personal knowledge, so I can add to my word bank of useless stuff. I'm looking I don't up right learn now. the I'm I don't Shut English that up. well, but I learn a yeah, lot dude, of things. Yeah, dude, she's twenty seven. She's twenty seven. Cool. Good for you. Yeah, she's way older than you, and she I'm doesn't have a penis, food, thank you. so you can't... I was trying to order food. You think I care? No, of course you don't. You don't you're going to take up, being you're gonna take up you the, don't care. Like, 
about my well-being or my health. I I tried to be nice to you at the beginning of this episode. Uh, I don't I don't know about that one, Trevor. <laughs> I tried to be nice. I was thoughtful. I had been thinking about you and how mean other uh-huh, people have uh-huh. been to you lately. Yeah, you thought about that. Not me included. Piece of living garbage. I am not usually mean to you. Uh huh. And uh, and I was. Uh, like, then I'm you a, told me to go suck. You, you, then you told me to just swallow cum. Well, you know what, Trev? I didn't say you to swallow cum. I did not tell you to swallow cum. You told me to I smoke would have said and swallow cum. Way better than that. Smoke a man's penis and then swallow the cum that comes out. You know, the best thing about this election being over is that I can stop getting notifications from every fucking app. Every single thing. Vote. Every website. It's yeah. incredible. I just got three notifications in a row from Facebook. Like, actually push notifications, sending them to my phone and going off. It's like, where? this is where you can vote. It's like, I've already voted. I've it's already incredible. done you this you shit. You know that? Do you think they know that? No, but they should. There should be an option where I can click, don't send me this shit anymore. Yeah, I already cool. did it. <laughs> Let me alone. Who are you voting for, Andre? I'm not on it. Cool. He's voting for Mexican Jesus. <laughs> Very similar to regular Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I voted Kanye West. You voted Kanye best. Yeah, he would be best. Kanye West, Kanye best. I think he missed out on that opportunity, and he's a wordsmith. He probably got it, but there's probably a reason. He's smarter, much smarter than the rest of us, that's for sure. He is a multimillionaire. He is. He has figured it out, and he's married to a hot lady who has a sex tape. I don't think she's that hot. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I can agree with that. I'm I think she's the whole she's okay. thing. She is okay. Yeah. <laughs> Andre would like her if she had a penis. Andre loves uh, Caitlyn, though. Who? No? He's a he's a Caitlyn fan. Caitlyn Jenner. No. Yeah. You've told me. In private, you're like, Kayla Jenner. Yes, and I, I totally told you I want to bang like Kayla Jenner. The best of friends. Yeah, you're like... I... No. You're like, I've seen her, her penis and it's magnificent. <laughs> Is, do you get off to just bullying the gays? Over Discord, I'm not boiling the. I'm not boiling you, the. Gays. You get off to bullying the gays over Discord. Nobody loves the not, gays more than me. No, okay? no, no. When we're all cam, Trevor like just really did, sticks his finger up my ass and twists it, I do but not. attached to his. He does. He, 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 he I am hardly ever mean to you. He he takes a thumbtack like a cheese grater and then puts it on his all finger right. and then just slams that all shit right. to the knuckle okay. up my ass. <laughs> When someone yells at you, who's the only other one that defends you? Me. No, so, no, nice. no, you yes, don't. No, you don't. I always defend you. No, you don't. I won't now. You only because defend me when you, Carter accuses me of whispering. You're an ungrateful little bitch. I'm not an ungrateful little bitch. I defend you anymore. And just to add to how much of a piece of shit you are, Trevor, I was the one talking to you last night about us going hard, and now you're totally stealing that from me. So that's super cool of you as a person. <laughs> That might be the lowest, scummiest thing you've ever done. Listen, man. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure you don't. I don't. You are surprisingly shit. We right have, where there's a couple of people that we play games with that constantly tell Andre to kill himself. And no, I, that's, I, no, that's like one person who tells me that. No, there's two. And I go back at them. Because I don't think that's cool. You know they I don't mean it. I think it's yeah, but it's not like funny or anything. You know when I like when we lampoon you about sucking a cock or taking like eight dicks in the ass, that's like <laughs> funny and creative. But when it's that's like, not creative, you just add a number. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I didn't come up with one of our fucking real good hooks off the top of my head right now. 
I'm just you didn't explaining make fun of the, the fact that I was gay. You just make fun of the fact that I'm brown and I'm skinny. And that yeah, you're gay. And you've never you've compared me one. both to Jesus and the stick that Moses used to split the Red yes, Sea. I never said either of those things. That was Carter. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, no, that would be Carter. Don't fucking Carter the first accuse one to me. Religion. What, what did I say? His jokes. You said not only do I look like Jesus, but I look like the stick that Moses used to split part the sea. No, that was Trevor. He's lying. I didn't say that. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> I would, I would that. totally take credit for that. That's a great one. I would. I didn't say <laughs> I, that. I absolutely did not say That's, that. You did. No, I did not say it. No, I've, I, I've I said didn't say it. You know why? Because I didn't know how to fucking stick. You said that my acting career was off the charts because I've been in I've been in so many roles of the stick in every movie. I think we've all said that one. That was times. that was Trevor's. Yeah. That, that was Trevor's. Trevor's. I said you were Gandalf's staff that yeah. one time. That was yeah. the only. Yes, no, you said I was Gandalf's all, staff. We've all had a, our own little piece of bite off the sandwich. You told me that I look like brown Gumpy. <laughs> Gumby, not Gumpy. Gum- well, fuck you. I Gumby. don't know what it is to begin with. I didn't yes. know what it was to begin with. I had to look it up. It's because you're fucking stupid. But what is it from? <laughs> it's from Gumby. <laughs> That's it. Gum- There's Gumby. It's not from another thing. Gumby is from Gumby. What is Gumby? It's a show. About? It's a show from a million It's about years. Gumby. <laughs> I can see your confusion though, Mateo. What the fuck? Is Gumby from Gumby? What is that show about? It's probably about fucking Gumby, you imbecile. <laughs> imbecile. You make so Look how many gets over a stupid ass Look how mad he gets. Yo, hey, dude, show. what's Rudolph about? <laughs> it's about uh, bullying. Yeah, it's about Rudolph, isn't should... it? Yeah, shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> it's about bullying and how you if should If there's a movie or a show named after a specific character, it is 100% about that fucking character. Okay, what about The Legend of Zelda then, huh, bitch? How about The Legend of Zelda? That's right. No, it's tell about me Link. That The Legend of Zelda isn't about Zelda? No, it's about Link. In his story. Uh, what is Link doing in the game? Uh, he's beating Ganon. He's so not, not, you know how many games that Zelda isn't involved with Legend of Zelda? Quite you're, a lot of them. You're stupid. Shut up. You've lost. You don't know who Gumby I say, is. I like how, I like how this bit started with Trevor talking about how he was so nice to you and he was a good friend defending you and now he's just <laughs> up and shit. Yeah, Luke- <laughs> That's because he pissed me off. Gun guy. <laughs> Bro. No, see, oh, Gumby. I'm and with you going until you piss me off. There he goes with that cheese grater straight and down set me off on my ass because he said something pussy. dumb. Okay. And look, I didn't tell him to kill himself. See, I stick to my guns. <laughs> I didn't say you told him to kill yeah, himself. I'm I, saying I shit on him. I make him feel lower, but I didn't tell him to kill himself. Yeah. Well, all I called you was stupid and imbecile. I yeah, I didn't, yeah, like, yeah. Fucking you said it with such, you said you it with such a, a burning hate and passion. Yeah, like such a hate, such. Passion. I didn't say you look like the limb of a weeping willow. I didn't say that. <laughs> see that? You see, you see that, Carter? Yeah, see, I see, it. see, I, see I it. didn't say that. I, I could have. See how he came out on the spot? And he it. still said it. how he still fucking decided to go ahead and say it. But I to no, it. I said I didn't say that. Yeah, but you just did. <laughs> You're not no, no, no. listening. I said I didn't say it. I could have, but I didn't. <laughs> and this all this all started because I was saying that I think it's dumb and gay when people tell other people to kill themselves because it's not funny or creative, or it's not like anything like that. It just sucks. It's lazy. There's no humor in it. If you're gonna like fucking like make fun of someone, be more creative than saying kill yourself. <laughs> you shouldn't roar. You should just kill yourself. You should roar be brave. XD, yeah. I forget what? that no. you're the fucking you're the edgy Jack Skellington hat wearing motherfucker. I don't wear Jack shit. Skeleton shit. All throughout high school, I wore blue jeans, this exact sweater, which is just for a tattoo shop. And a Batman beanie. No. That is literally all you, I wore. Nope, nope, you wore Jack Skellington stuff. I've seen it in your pictures on Facebook. No, you haven't. You have a Jack Skellington There is no shirt picture on, on there with me and yeah. Jack Skellington. Yeah, there is. 
What what fuck what social media we're looking up? Not my Twitter because you don't know what that is shit is. So uh, your Facebook. My Facebook doesn't have that either. It does. We've all seen it. Carter would No, you, you haven't. I don't know what I've seen. What? Okay. Yep, see, look at that. Boom, baby. Your ride or die bitch couldn't save you. I don't know what he said, so I don't, I can't yeah, make Yeah, fucking maybe pay attention instead of playing fucking Spider Solitaire or whatever you're no, doing. No, he's not playing Spider Solitaire. He's playing Total War Three Kings. I, I have to play Spider Solitaire all the time. It keeps my mind sharp. Playing Spider Solitaire. Yeah, yeah I'm Carter. Carter, I'm sorry, but re- reject Elfbold. Zach Gilfanakis over here. Fucking just told me that I wore say that, Jack Skeleton say that last shit on my again. Facebook. Say that last name again. Galifianakis. There you go. You said Zach Gal- Yeah, reject Zach Galifianakis. I hope you feel proud when I say that. That's not an insult, dude. Zach Galifianakis. You are a is reject. Zach Galifianakis. Yeah, well, even to be, ca- I'm honored to be compared to him in any light. Cool. You see how I flipped that on you and made you look the fool? Put his name down, flipped it, and reversed it. Yeah, like Missy Elliott. <laughs> <laughs> I miss the Elliott. <laughs> And it's like she's just having a seizure. She's just, just having a fucking seizure writhing on the floor. You think they can so, make a... Hmm? Go on. What were you going to say? Nothing of importance. You think they can make a Fitbit for your penis? A fit? Yes. Fit. Oh, like the little like watch thing? Watch. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, they it's a cock like ring. Heart rate. So. I mean, could they make it? Yes. Yeah. It's a cock ring. Absolutely. It's not a fucking cock ring. You're symbolizing the idea too much. It's a cock ring. No, it's not. It's a cock ring that measures the blood pressure in your penis, and then at, with every thrust, it just goes. The you can hear the you can if it's right it next. You can to also the main measure main, so how going, much cum is in your nuts do, do, at do, that do, time. Do, 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 that do, that would be do, sick. Do, do. You like have, sorry, honey, yeah. we can't have sex, as you can see. I'm at no, I have a fit pin on my cock. I'm at 15% cum capacity. <laughs> I don't have enough cum. Yeah. I have to have over 75% of cum. <laughs> Beast. That would be fucking awesome. It also tells you how close you are to nutting. Yeah, that would be yeah. cool too. <laughs> so it's like you're at 75% uh, cum capacity and you're 82% about to bust. I'm 82% about to bust. That that's fucking. Oh I would love it. I would buy that. I don't know if I'd use it, but I just want, I want that. Hey, uh, I don't want to. Inter- I don't want. I don't mean to interject, but can we get a can we get a round of applause? My brother's having a baby boy. Not the not the other one. Right not now? the other one. My older brother is having a literally baby right boy. Now? Answer, literally right now. No. Well, they not... they just got the announcement. They figured out what the fuck it is. No, what? I don't give a fuck. And then, 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 but then he says, like they all took a picture, like they were at the baby, like at the little shower, and they said, nice one, day, "One day, we will have to explain to you, our son, why we ha- wear a mask." Oh boy, baby boy, I can't wait to meet you. And I, it puts in perspective, like, oh my god, yeah, we do have to tell children in the past, like why everybody was wearing these little face cloths. <laughs> it would be cool if like uh, iPhones get so advanced. They they no longer need sonograms. They can just stick like the iPhone up the pussy, and take a picture okay. of a baby. Why do they have to stick up the pussy? Cause that's funnier. That's not advanced. I could just straight up be- just go, haha, bitch, spread your legs, and then jam this shit right in. It's funnier it's than me fun just time. putting it's just putting the iPhone on the pussy and taking a picture. No, no, you, you can just straight s- just jam that shit up there. What if it has like a camera, there. like the pirate fucking telescope binocular thing? Pirate telescope. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The one eye. There, they do have a one eye camera, but it's like a long tube. Is it a monocular? A... Is that what it's called? Monocle, monocle is what you're no. thinking of, but that's no, this. I'm not thinking of monocle. I know what a monocle is. I'm talking about binocular. Glass. Shut the fuck called. up. <laughs> I'm talking about. These are fucking binoculars. Yes. Right. Yeah, but the one for one eye is what? Is that a? It's monocular? a spyglass. I'm gonna fucking slit your throat, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking bury you. It's a fucking spyglass. <laughs> it's a mono, so it because it's one, so it's no, a monocular. No, it's not a mono. It's a monocular. It's not a monocular. It's a spyglass. It's not a spyglass. <laughs> it's a spyglass. No, it's not. How is that spy like? <laughs> How is it any more spy like than no, a fucking monocular? No, no, it's monocular? not a spy because it's spy like. It's spyglass because it's. 
like when you're spying. No, it's a one mono eye. for it's one. It's a spyglass. So monocular. You're no. stupid. Anyway, back to my point. What if they get like a monocular thing with the iPhone camera, so you can just extend it out like a long straw, and you could put that in the vagina and take it. That'd be pretty cool. Of the baby. Yeah, just. Yeah, hey, yo, bitch! I want to see the baby sit on my spyglass. <laughs> Why would you sit on it? That would break it. You have to insert it into. Do you not know? You don't fucking no. know anything. She sits on it. It has to be no. insertion. It's got like phallic type shape, so it's like the shape of a penis, but the monocular is inside. So she just sits on that no. shit. Nope. Then she lifts nope. up. It's still inside, uh-uh. and then you just place your eye, and no. boom, baby! Now you can tell. Yeah, you can see a clear image of the nope. baby. Boom! Nope. It's a boy. <laughs> No, nope. it's a boy. Yeah. It's a girl. It's I don't know boy. what it is. It's a little gray pound ball of flesh. What if oh ba- what God. if babies could nut? I didn't no. don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk like, about that. Shut the so fuck it's up. Like a, a Shut the fuck up. The little baby boy, and he can just like nut in the womb. No, stop that. <laughs> I, I, I don't, want to, I don't want to talk about that. That'd be funny, dude. He's Way seven. to ruin it. He's just Way to ruin hang, it. He's just hanging out in the fluid with his nut and shit. You've ruined it. You've ruined it. <laughs> I ruined hate what? You. You've ruined childbirth. The glory. Yeah, childbirth having, is a beautiful having thing. Having nut in the fucking fluid. Now you want to talk about babies coming inside so their own mother. So much more disgusting. Than you hear, the shit you hear how bad itself. that is? Babies coming in their own mother. That's what you just yeah, said. It's, that it's, is basically. Yeah, what you just said to it's me. not at all more disgusting than the fact that there's literally a fucking ball of snot clogging the pussy. When there's a baby in there. I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you don't. It's called the placenta, and it is what's keeping the baby in No, that's place. not placenta. That's called the mucus plug, you dumbass. Shut the fuck They're up. They're different things. It is a different thing. I'll give it you It is a different thing. I'm sorry. Yes. The skin, more the placenta, and then the fluid inside, yes. And then there's the baby. There's the, there's the, there's a little well, one. You don't even know joy that what a vagina looks like. Yourself. I'm not talking to you about this. I know that's what a fucking true. vagina they, looks like. I have a vagina in great you detail. You think though. a vagina looks like a McDonald's play place? <laughs> Mateo, what is? <laughs> 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 Honestly, it's kind of what they are. So, Mateo, yeah. describe what a what a vagina looks like. You ever see? You ever went to Arby's? It's got the slide. I'm gonna tell you right away. <laughs> you're, you're wrong. It's got a slide, <laughs> a little ball pit. Uh, it look. There's a reason why they call it a flower. No one calls it a flower. Because it's got flesh. Pe- because it's got flesh petals. And referred it's got flesh into petals, bitch. Flowering, it's called the Lavia Minora and the Lavia Majora. And inside. Say what you really mean. And that is a slit. That's your that's your racist way. Of trying to hide your racism by saying minority. Say what you mean. It's labia in. <laughs> what? This is what? a stupid joke. Sorry. He was trying to call the pussies the N word. He said <laughs> labia N. You, Trevor had a brain dump moment. Trevor had a fucking stupid. No, I didn't have a stupid moment. moment. You, you just didn't dump. pick brain up on the fart, joke. Brain fart. Stupid no. fucking brain fart. No. <laughs> uh, Oh, no, that's true. You're not going to beat me in a brain war, okay? Uh-huh, says the guy who just brain-fucked his mic Trevor trying to hit the N-word on cam. He tried to hit the Trevor. N-word with pussies. Was, so you're interrupting somebody important. What, Carter? Oh. I said oh. I said Trevor is just perpetually that large brain sheen from Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> he's just more st- he's just like stupid faster. Can we talk about how disgusting that show looked? What? No, that, yeah, that show the fucking, fucking animation terrible. for that is so gross. I really? didn't mind it. I didn't they look mind like it. I, would go, I would go back and in, watch like, that series oil again. and shit. It's disgusting. The animation is horrendous. I yeah. would rewatch that show over. Yeah, you have time. no fucking taste. Fuck you. That was shit. That was shit. Was my yeah. childhood. You, yeah, Jimmy Nutrin. You like that shit? The show sucked. It wasn't even funny or good. No. You suck. Lick my tits. I thought the dad was funny when he like did retarded shit. Oh, you look disgusting. Well, I'm about too. to send you back to the Shadow Realm, Jimbo. Oh, fucking ducks and whatnot. Ducks and ducks and Jimbo ducks. I'm gonna fuck your mom. <laughs> it's disgusting. They all gross. He used to go fuck. like that little duck toy where it would just dip its head in the water. Who who thought that's that was he, a good animation style? Because that was the that's only show that ever existed for. That's because that was early CGI, and early CGI kind of sucked. They didn't do it sucked. for any other show like that. 
e- th- all th- the other they ones went... were clean, good because animated. Because CGI was cheap and easy, or it's but just the fact it was that still new. Nickelodeon sucked at making fucking animation shows. I mean, you want to shit on Jimmy Neutron? Let's talk about Transformers Beast Wars. Transformers. Why are you Beast coming War? at me with that? Like I care about Transformers, dude. Because we're talking about terrible CGI. Yeah, I've never seen it. I don't know. So moving on. <laughs> I watched. I binged the fuck out of it. I'm sure you did. I... What? Yeah, Jamie Neutron sucked. It's just a shitty show. Trevor's got. Trevor was just about to tell us the fantastic time of how he forgot to set a timer. Oh, I set a timer. I know what time it is. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. How do you know? Because I set a timer. We're at 120. He didn't set a timer. We're at 120, 22. Now it's 24. One minute, 20. One hour, 20 minutes, 24 seconds. We can stop anytime. It's going to be a long one, boys. It's already been a long one. Yeah, it's going to be a long one. It picked up in the back half because I had to yell at you. No, it didn't pick up. It picked. If, (laughs) If you've made it this far. Uh, skip the first 25 minutes of the show. Yeah, right. yeah. Let's, <laughs> if, let's it if you've made it this far, then you've already waded through that, and I'm sorry. <laughs> That's going to be the title. Skip. He's the, not editing. Skip the He's not editing. Minutes. He's just blindly stating shit out. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking go you... in and cut the first 20 minutes out. Why would I do that? You're not editing. You no, because edit. there's no need. I have all the hot That's because he did. Figured that's out. Be, so ooh, fucking... his little baby pussy didn't like it when me and Carter talked about sports, and I'm very interested in him talking about sports thing. for literally seconds, maybe two minutes. Shit. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm interested in what he does. I'm interested right, in what my you, friend. If you cunts want to go start your own sports show, go ahead. <laughs> no, we're just, on this show, we're just going to talk about a lot of stuff. We've, you talked made a whole episode of politics knowing damn well I could not add on to that shit. I told you days in advance that if you, you wanted to add anything to the conversation that you look shit up. All I did, all you guys pretty much covered everything. And you know what? Fact, you didn't fucking do anything, so that's not my problem. You covered everything. You covered Joe Biden looked like a corpse. The fly on Mike Pence's head. We didn't head. say any of that. We never talked about the VP debate, so you you, you have no about idea Joe what the Biden fuck you're like talking a corpse. about. Carter no, specifically said Joe Biden looked like a fucking no, he corpse. Did. I probably did. He go did. back. Uh, somebody who's, who's ever watched this right now, go back and watch that episode and tell us what you think. He of said the Joe Biden looked standing up there like a fucking corpse if going, go, I, give us your tax return. If, give us your tax return. And he got him. You say Andre's right and I'm wrong. I will delete your comment. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly balanced as yeah. all things should be. Perfectly balanced. <laughs> I'm right. You're wrong. Suck my yeah. dick. Fabricated reality in which Mateo can't even. But reality pop. can be whatever yeah, I want. This is what I make it, dude. I am the curator, the creator, the Jesus. Yeah, dog. You know what's up. There's this you're, one you're chick telling on... the guy with long hair and brown skin that he ain't Jesus. Shut the fuck up. There's this one I chick am... on TikTok who used to be like a huge whore, and now she's found like Jesus. And there's nothing wrong with being a whore. That's cool. Oh if you're a whore, more power to you. But uh, she found Jesus and shit, and now her whole TikTok is about her loving Jesus. And uh, she, I saw this one the other day, and she was like, "Fucking uh, do, do, quote, do, She's do. like, "If Jesus loves us so much, why doesn't he show up?" And then she like responded, and she was like, "He did." And then we killed him. And it's like, first we didn't kill anybody. Yeah, no shit. The Romans killed Jesus. Yeah, because if somebody came around nowadays and talking about how they were the son of God and we needed to worship them, we would yeah. probably kill them nowadays too. Yeah, and that bitch would too, because that person would be a Middle Eastern Jew, <laughs> talking about how social welfare yeah. reforms and everything, and how we need. My God, what the fuck is wrong with you? We, did, you we didn't kill him. That. The Romans did, and also that they killed him because he they thought he was a false prophet, and honestly. <laughs> They mm-hmm. kind of had the right to think that because it's just some dude that shows up it's and it's like, hey. Some dude. <laughs> also, that <laughs> argument for why he won't show up now is fucking ridiculous <laughs> because <laughs> he's literally like God, right? He's a part of God. He's a piece of God, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, what sure. the fuck would that have to do with him not coming now? Because God is afraid of what he's created and he is ashamed of man. 
It would not matter. You killed my son. You killed my son once before. You think I'm gonna send him down so he can die a second time? His son is him. Not. He's him and his son. They're the same fucking person. It's an extension. I know him, the father, the son, the Holy Shit Spirit. Yeah, I know they're all the same fucking guy. Suck my we fucking. We heard his little baby pussy because we didn't like his stuff for a while. I guess. Yeah. Suck my fucking dick, dude. I want to go back to the Roman days where we worshipped like Zeus and the sun. Yeah, that shit is tight. Let's worship the ball of fire yeah. that literally gives us life. I don't want to worship that thing. Kill Christians. Because that I can at least see and confirm exists. I've been. Oh I've my been god, worship... I got too controversial. My god. I've been worshiping. What the fuck are you doing? You just coming. You're interrupting me. Head. You're coming in. You're interrupting me, and then you stand up and walk away. Fuck, because I man. said something that's gonna make a lot oh, of people angry. Dude, <laughs> Fucking, you've ruined my day. <laughs> Just day three, started, everybody. Day is fucking ruined. This is this is my mad week number two. Last week I was supposed to be pissed off, and apparently it's this week also. People can't let me just have my fucking one week to be mad. They're like, you know, we gotta fucking ruin everything for you. Damn. I forgot damn. what I was gonna say now. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was Bro. just talking about. I've been I've been fucking worshiping the moon lately. Oh yeah, yeah yeah. For like the tides shit that are really. Like, no, I don't give a fuck about the tides. I just for personal no, reasons. Know. Yeah. All right. Just for like the way it game, looks. I I fuck I go outside at night and I get on my hands and knees, or just knees and I pray to the moon. And See, the I don't stars. get that. I'm cool with worshiping shit, right? Yeah, don't don't pray do to it. It doesn't make any sense. I don't do that. I'm I'm joking. But like the sun is good. Yeah. The sun is good because it gives us all our life and shit, but you can't ask it to yeah. do shit. I, th- I like that. It's fun. But nah. I like, I like to look up to the moon and be like, fucking... You can't, can't ask I... the sun to do you a favor. You, but I'm asking the universe, really. Yeah? I'm trying to speak it into existence, you know? Okay. I go out there at night, and it's pitch black, and the moon is just right above me, and I look up, and I'm like, God, these black people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> can you can please I, bring the tide over yeah, the blacks can I, I get my dick sucked yeah. never mind that's, you put me in the clear thank you Carter you just saved me from getting shit on how, were you how, about to say something incredibly stupid no I already said something incredibly fucked up not racist just something that should not be said on the internet but I go show. you're about to give the out your address intercast pod show you're about to tell everybody your address are you no. gonna tell anyone how you like your mom farting in your face? <laughs> no, I already said it, dumbass. Just go early, scroll back, scroll back about three scroll minutes back for shit. Not about you, you, dumbass. Scroll back. Back. Can't I scroll back. back. This is sure. a fucking live recording. We cannot scroll back. No, 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 not you. Rewind the, the tape. This is, this <laughs> is a future. I'm breaking the fourth wall. Oh, you like are this? On, you're yeah. looking at me through a video screen. Nothing I do matters. Ooh. What's that? It all matters. <laughs> Never sucked up on my dick. Oh yeah, it's, uh, we'll we'll do one little last riff here and then we'll end uh, because it is uh, no nut November. Yeah, yeah. Carter already lost. Today, he but fucking... I'm gonna do it again because I didn't do it on the show. Carter like lost because he came in his girlfriend. Shut the like, fuck up. Strike of midnight. <laughs> I feel bad because I want you to talk more, but you always decide to talk as I'm talking. Yeah. And I have to tell you to shut up. You don't know how turns work. It's amazing that you've made it this far. I know, right? But it is no not November, otherwise in and in. And I thought a little funny joke is uh, uh, no <laughs> beep November. Just stop. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Yeah, I, I knew he was going to say it. How did I know he was going to go straight for the N-word? I said I said it the other day, dumbass. Of course, you were no, there when I said it. of course you're going to say it the other day because we're not on the fuck. This isn't going to the internet. Yeah. And to be clear, when I said it in private, I still didn't say the N-word. So. No, you still said the N-word. I was there for no, that. No, I didn't. Said, we were playing Siege, and we were all hunting for Trevor candy. And N-word. he's like, oh, no, no November's about to happen. I've literally oh, never said the N-word nope. in my entire life. And then he said it. And then he fucking Listen, said it. Listen, dude, even when I've read, like, uh, Tom Sawyer, no. I didn't even read the N-word. That's okay? because you didn't read Tom Sawyer. You read Huckleberry Finn, where there's even more N-words. Written by Tom Sawyer. No, it wasn't written by Tom Sawyer. Jesus. Nicholas Fishbone. By Mark Twain. Mark 
and twine. I bet you I could like go around and start asking a bunch of kids, like these modernized kids, just like, "Hey, who's Mark Twain?" And they won't tell. They won't be able to tell me who. Yeah, because the dude wrote like one book. Kids. Hey, kids. Huck Finn. You know it's who not Mark even that. Twain it's just about a fucking. Would you like to hear about the adventures of Huckleberry Finn? It's literally just a, a white boy and a black guy on it the is. raft in the water in the river. It is. And no, remember his name was Edward Finn. It's Edward Jim. Oh yeah, Edward Jim. Now it's just Jim. Now it's just Jim. Yeah, it's just now Jim. it's just Edward. Which I feel, uh, in, for <laughs> all honesty's sake, I feel like that takes away from the point of the story. What does that mean? It takes away from the point of the story because it's about like him and his slave boy and stuff. It, it I think it dilutes. Jim could the, kill him in his fucking sleep. Have you read it? I don't think you've read Huck Finn. Jim is a able. He's an able body. I have read kill Huck. Huck. Jim is also Huck. a little boy like Huck Finn. He could kill. They're both Huck. like ten years old, floating he down the river. Poke the bear. Bear gonna fight. I've never read the book, so I have no idea what I'm talking about. I know Jim is a fucking grown ass man. He's not. I know that he's for a fact. Full blown man. In Huckleberry Finn, there's a ginormous black dude, and he goes to prison. And they call him the N-word every now and again, too. But I don't know if his name was Jim. That's wrong. But when he goes there, he's like this big, sweet dude, and he was accused of killing these children. But it turns out he didn't actually do it. They just thought he did. And he <laughs> I fucking knew it immediately as soon as you started saying that you were doing it. I'm like, no, that's not Huckleberry Finn. And <laughs> just the Green Mile. Yeah. Have you seen the Green Mile, Andre? I have seen the Green Mile, yeah. No, you haven't. Okay. Yes, I have. You haven't seen it. <laughs> I know, I remember his sad face exactly when they still uh, told me just sitting uh, there. What happens in the movie? He Trevor oh, fucking Carter all What happens just what what part out. am I thinking about right now? I don't fucking know. <laughs> then you haven't seen it. <laughs> Dude, what fucking god <laughs> What color is the mouse that the big black guy plays with? Don't look it up. You're looking it up. What color is the mouse? Why are you leaving? You don't know what color the mouse is. Because you haven't seen I don't the movie. Know what color the fucking mouse is. He's got his headphones on, so I can't what say it. Black? <laughs> what the fuck what is color black? is the mouse? It's black and white. What? The mouse. mouse. He the plays with movie. one mouse. It's very important to the movie. Remember, dude, I haven't watched what that movie since I was in high school. This is hugely important to the movie. What color is the mouse? Is it t- car? Is it hugely important? This is the mouse is a big fucking significant part. I don't remember because I haven't part, watched it, that it, movie. It helps the message. Great. It's very artful. What color went, is the mouse? Do not know. Let me tell you this. Just answer I the went, question, nematode. I don't, <laughs> what color is the mouse? Guess. Come on. Just guess a color that a mouse could be. Yeah. White. There you go. You got it. Nice. It's white. It's a white mouse. <laughs> that was so you? fucking hard, wasn't it? You know, one that I spent with a substitute teacher because my teacher was out because of that thing that was sick. We just went watching movies back to back. Green Mile was one of them, but you know what I watched yeah. before and after that? I watched Frankenstein's Monster before, and then immediately after we watched the original The Thing. Oh no, no, not The Thing. It was uh, it came from Mars. How did you get those two confused? Because it was How a creature you, that came oh, from a different oh, planet. Oh no, it wasn't it. The Thing. It was they came from Mars. Completely. Yes, that's what it was. Super different movies. Yeah, I know. I know. They're on it was different still, ends it was of the spectrum. That they found in the ice. It's still a bunch yeah. of people in a research yeah. base in the middle of buttfuck snow nowhere yeah. getting fucking killed. Anyway, back to No Nut November. Like this last, this last riff was supposed to be about, and it just didn't get there. Yep. Andre brought up Huck Finn and his favorite character, Inward Jim. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you like him just because of his name. no it wasn't i remember we were reading a book in school and it had the n-word in it 
and I was sitting there and I was thinking, there's no way anybody's going to read this word out loud. And then everybody did. And I was like, <laughs> what? Because <laughs> <laughs> we would go around, it was like a big U shape, the desk, would, like, everybody would read. And they, everybody said it. I was like, oh my God. What is it? The first one happened, and I was like, oh, my face lit up like a child on Christmas. I was like, Good this is, like, what the fuck is happening? And it just went down the line, and it was like, oh, blah, 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 inward. Oh, it, was the thing. it was crazy. And the teacher just came to me, and she's like, what am I supposed to do? It's in the book. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I don't think that's. <laughs> I think that gives you the eligibility. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's it. That's all we got. Uh, okay. Uh, keep safe during the November in the Civil War. Yeah, during the Civil War. Yeah, don't yeah. be like Carter. Uh, don't have a girlfriend. Don't don't bust inside. Or you could stunt on people and do the really funny joke of just not participating in No Not November, and that's it. That's not funny. Yeah, though. cool. That's super funny. No, you got to save that nut. I'm going to turn apples to leaves. For whom? Uh, I don't know. No Not November was at created by worthless virgins who thought it was funny yeah. to be worthless virgins. It's just at the end, you get a huge buzz. And it's perpetuated by worthless virgins. I think it's fine. Yeah, I know you think it's <laughs> still a challenge, dude. Yeah, uh, dog. yeah, uh, stay safe. Um, who who do you predict to win the election tonight? Let's not do that, never mind, because this is going to come out today. I think, uh, I think people enough people are going to write in Tulsi Gabbard probably, and she's going to clinch it. Okay, yeah, dog. I didn't think that's where you were going to go. <laughs> But okay. Most like, unlikely candidate. Yeah. Andre? Sorry, who are you what, picking, who are you, who are you picking for your chieftain? Oh my god, this shit's loud. That's different than who I think is going to win. What do you yeah, think that's, I what I, that's what who I mean. I who's, who, who are you picking to win? I'm picking Joe Biden. Okay. You think Joe Biden's going to win the election? No, I don't think he's going to win. I just picked oh. Joe Biden. You want him to win because you're a little libtard cuck. Yeah. Lip talk, cock. I just don't want Trump in office. You little Fuck fucking you. soy boy bitch. Little soy boy bitch boy. I thought it would be so awesome if Kanye became president. Yeah, I'm picking... Fuck you. I, I respect my grandfather and his views are mine. And he says that Joe Biden is working for the hardworking blue collar. Who are you picking, Trevor? Uh, Kanye West. Kanye West, too? Yeah. I might go I Betty White, though, too, right? Because yeah. Betty White is the oldest and wisest person in the country. That, that, yep, that makes sense. Yeah, I might, I, go, I might go Alex Trebek actually. Or a movie soundtrack back yeah, then. Or Alex Trebek, because he's, he's, I can't he's, hear you over Mateo. I understand. Trevor, what? Alex Trebek. The okay. Host, the host of uh, Jeopardy. Sick. Because he's had stage four pancreatic cancer for like two years and he's a fighter. <laughs> yeah. Salute. Tight. 